Well, my shallots cured beautifully this season. They turned out very small though, but that, that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use all of these for this dish here. And I went ahead and minced that. And then I've been pulling away on this little bulb of garlic now for about a week. So I decided to go ahead and just mince it all up. I'm only gonna use about one tablespoon of it. I like to chop the little woody end off the bottom and um, before I peel it just to kind of get that out of the way and then I mince that and I'm only going to use about one tablespoon of it like I mentioned and um, and then it was time to prepare my French breakfast radishes. I sliced those lengthwise to kind of keep the color um, they're baby little baby radishes so they're real pretty. Now this is a really big squash so it got away from me i went out of town and when i came back it was just m much too big and your skin will end up being tougher and then you have a very high water content on the inside so i decided i would use it as a little bowl and because it's just such a i think it's such a pretty little squash so i went ahead and took some of the flesh out with my melon baller and just playing around with it a little bit, I decided to cut um, little triangles out of the smaller one and leaving the skin on it. So I'm just cutting little triangles and then in my cast iron skillet I went ahead and heated up a tablespoon of grapeseed oil. I added my shallots, my garlic, a little bit of red pepper flakes, my French breakfast radishes, some pink salt and then a little teaspoon of butter. So once those were cooking pretty good, I went ahead and added the squash that had the skin on it. Uh, that's much, gonna be much denser than the balls, so I waited around until that cooked down a little bit and then I added my balls. And I just sauteed those for about four more minutes, so I'm cooking these a total of about 10 minutes at this point on medium heat. And I added one tablespoon of French tarragon, just kind of to stay in keeping with the French theme I had going on here. And then a little pink salt and a little bit of cracked white pepper. Be careful with pepper whenever you're cooking squash because squash, you know, has a very mild flavor and pepper can tend to overwhelm the squash flavor. And so I tested the texture. I wanted to make sure everything was cooking good, but I certainly did not want to overcook anything. Um, I didn't want mushy squash at all. So everything was perfect, and I decided to transfer it to my squash dish. Um, you could take this a step further even and probably bake that squash down a little bit once you've um, removed the pulp and everything. Um, but I just thought that the, it was so pretty and I didn't want to mess it up at all. So I just left it like it is. And then I topped it with some Parmesan cheese and some chives and it turned out really pretty and it was delicious. And I'm really glad that I staggered the cooking of the squash so that everything kind of took on its own texture. And I hope you can try it too. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.